Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Forsen Podcast. I am your host, Forsen. Today, we have several interesting topics to discuss. So, let's talk about the weather in Stockholm. According to my sources, the weather in Stockholm will be sunny with a chance of God seeds, which means Nina will go to the beach with the dock. This means that the sun will shine brightly and the God seeds will be plentiful. God seeds are extremely rare and valuable in Minecraft speedruns. They are seeds that generate a world with perfect conditions for speedrunning. These seeds have all the necessary resources and structures in close proximity, allowing me to complete the game as fast as possible. Now, you might be wondering what Nina and the dog have to do with the weather in Stockholm. Well, Nina is my beloved dog and the dog is my beloved horse. Nina is a beautiful Siberian Husky, and the Doc is a strong Black Stallion. They are my loyal companions in Minecraft speedruns. When the weather is sunny with a chance of God seeds, it means that Nina and the Doc will go to the beach. The beach is a special place for us. It is where I train Nina to become the best dog in the world. She loves to swim in the ocean and fetch sticks. The Doc also enjoys the beach. He loves to run on the sand and swim in the water. So when the weather is sunny with a chance of God seeds, it means that I will take Nina and the dock to the beach. We will have a great time playing in the sand and swimming in the ocean. Nina will improve her swimming skills and the dock will improve his running skills. Just kidding. I don't give a fuck about the weather in Stockholm. Nina is my wife and she will go to the beach with me. The dock is a snitch and he is banned from the beach. End of story. Now a letter from a viewer. Forsen, what did you do with the asylum nurse yesterday? Well, it was a crazy day. I was streaming my favorite game, Minecraft, and I was doing a speedrun. I was on a really good pace to beat the world record. But then, out of nowhere, a nurse from the asylum came into my room. She was screaming something about me being her patient and that I escaped from the asylum. I didn't know what she was talking about. I thought she was just a crazy fan who wanted to be on stream. So I told her to shut up and I continued playing Minecraft. But she didn't stop screaming and she started to attack me with a syringe. I had to defend myself, so I grabbed a knife from the kitchen and I stabbed her multiple times. She died instantly. The police arrested me and I was sentenced to life in prison. I'm currently serving my sentence in a maximum security prison. I'm not allowed to stream anymore, but I can make podcasts from prison. That's why I'm here today. Moving on to the next topic of Out Podcast. How six hours of Minecraft speedrun every day for six months affects on human brain. First of all, I want to say that six hours of Minecraft speedruns every day for six months is nothing. I used to play Minecraft for 12 hours every day for six years. But I guess for normies it can be a problem. Playing Minecraft speedruns for such an extended period can have several negative effects on the human brain. The first thing that happens is that you start to lose brain cells. But don't worry, you don't need them anyway. The more brain cells you lose, the better gamer you become. The first effect is a decrease in cognitive abilities. The human brain needs a variety of activities to stay healthy and sharp. Focusing solely on Minecraft speedruns for such a long time can lead to a decline in other cognitive skills such as memory, attention, and problem-solving abilities. But who needs those skills anyway? You only need to know how to build a portal and kill the dragon. Another effect is a decrease in social skills. When you spend most of your time playing Minecraft speedruns, you have less time for social interactions. You start to lose friends and family. 
but who needs friends and family when you have a Minecraft world? Additionally, excessive gaming can lead to sleep deprivation. When you play Minecraft speedruns for 6 hours every day, you will have less time for sleep. But don't worry, sleep is for the weak. Moreover, playing Minecraft speedruns for such a long time can lead to addiction. You become addicted to the game and you can't stop playing it. You start to lose your job, your wife, your kids. But who needs a job, a wife, and kids when you have a Minecraft world? In conclusion, playing Minecraft speedruns for 6 hours every day for 6 months can have several negative effects on the human brain. It can lead to a decline in cognitive abilities, social skills, sleep deprivation, and addiction. But who cares? Minecraft is life. Minecraft is love. Another letter from a viewer who wants to know about the top 10 asylum pill side effects. I have been taking these pills for a long time so I can speak from my own experience. Number 10. Memory loss. After taking asylum pills for a while, you will start to forget things. But that's actually a good thing because you will forget about all the bad games you played. Number 9. Hallucinations. Asylum pills can cause hallucinations. You will start to see snipers in every game you play. But don't worry, they are not real. Number 8. Lack of emotions. Asylum pills will make you emotionless. You will not feel anything when you lose a game or when your dog dies. It's a good thing because you will not get tilted. Number 7. Loss of hair. Asylum pills can cause hair loss. But that's actually a good thing because you will not have to shave your head anymore. Number 6. Inability to read. Asylum pills will make you illiterate. But that's actually a good thing because you will not be able to read all the hate comments from your viewers. Number 5. Twitch chat syndrome. Asylum pills can cause twitch chat syndrome. You will start to spam emotes in real life. But that's actually a good thing because you will be able to communicate with your viewers without speaking. Number 4. Loss of taste. Asylum pills will make everything taste like chicken. But that's actually a good thing because chicken is the best food in the world. Number 3. Inability to sleep. Asylum pills will make you unable to sleep. But that's actually a good thing because you will be able to stream 24-7. Number 2. Loss of hearing. Asylum pills will make you deaf. But that's actually a good thing because you will not have to listen to your viewers complaining about your gameplay. Number 1. Loss of sanity. Asylum pills will make you insane. But that's actually a good thing because you will be able to play any game without getting tilted. So these were the top 10 asylum pill side effects. Remember kids, don't do drugs, stay in school. We finish our podcast by making plans on the next 24 hour stream. I will be streaming Darkest Dungeon 2 and Valorant for the entire duration. Let's dive into the details. I am planning to stream Darkest Dungeon 2 and Valorant for 24 hours straight, but here's the twist. I will be doing it from a mental asylum. I've always been known for my insane gameplay and my mental state during my streams. So I thought it would be a great idea to stream from a mental asylum to enhance the experience. Also, I've been banned from Twitch multiple times, so I thought it would be a good idea to stream from a place where I belong. First, I will start with Darkest Dungeon 2. Darkest Dungeon 2 is a highly anticipated sequel to the original Darkest Dungeon game. It is a challenging turn, based strategy game with a dark and gothic atmosphere. The game features a unique stress mechanic that adds an extra layer of difficulty and psychological pressure to the gameplay. It's a game that perfectly matches my mental state. I think it will be a perfect fit for the mental asylum theme. After that, I will switch to Valorant. 
It's a competitive first-person shooter game that requires a lot of focus and mental strength. Valorant is a popular first-person shooter game developed by Riot Games. It combines elements from games like Counter-Strike and Overwatch, creating a unique and competitive experience. I will show everyone that even in a mental asylum, I can still dominate the game. That's it for today. Thanks for the Dono subs, gifted subs, and of course bitcoins. Stay beautiful, said Gucci, and remember to take your pills. Tomorrow will be another day in the arena. Bye bye.